it comes to you guys each and every saturday and sundays so guys um national peace and reconciliation commission nprc spokesperson obit gutu has criticized triple c spokesperson afadzai mahere over the remarks she made at the un geneva summit for human rights and democracy 2023 in switzerland on tuesday among other things my said zimbabwe is under a dictatorship that is worse than during the late our former president robert mugabe's reign speaking to zbc news gutu said mayere should have raised her concerns with the nprc instead of using uh, the un geneva summit for human rights and democracy to air her grievances gutu said we normally want to encourage people to be mindful of what we say where we say it and how we say it is very unfortunate when utterances that might have the effect of disturbing peace are made here in Zimbabwe or outside the country they might have the effect of disturbing the peace because i understand from my observation that a number of people are very upset about what she said in Geneva i happen to have watched the video as well and i'm saying from a peace building perspective those issues she raised could have been raised locally as they say the best approach is to use domestic remedies before you go out of your own house to talk about domestic issues as a peace building institution mandated by the supreme of the land to build peace in zimbabwe we would not have to encourage any zimbabwe who feels they want to have issues to discuss to be free to contact us or give us suggestions maybe orally or in writing with regards to what they would they want to be done about the issues or complaints that they have leave that is nprc at the end of the day peace building affects everyone and if you say something that might have an effect of sticking emotions which is what appears to be the case here that would actually invite an inferno of emotions that might even lead to civil unrest in the country and it will be very unfortunate considering that we are already in elections where political emotions are running very high and one would want to believe that the whatever we do whatever we say as Zimbabweans political actors and non political actors we should always be mindful of the impact and of effect it might have on the peacefulness of our beloved country speaking in switzerland my claim that half of zimbabwe's population lives in extreme poverty while billions are being looted by the ruling elite she also said that the conviction of transform zimbabwe tz president jacob ngaruvume for incitement to public violence is a warning by the ruling elite that participating in opposition politics is punishable my narrated day ordeal at the hands of state institutions and castigated the treatment of political opponents prisoners and judicial capture she recalled her treatment at chukurubi maximum prison after her arrest on charges of undermining the authority of the police after she posted a video that had already been posted multiple times alleging that a police officer has struck dead a baby with a baton in Harare. Mayere said, two years ago, I woke up in an overcrowded Joso in Zimbabwe's maximum security prison. No water, no toilet, no underwear, no dignity, no rights. Inmates ate watery porridge with their bare hands because spoons are not allowed. Before lights were off, we had to line up in queues for roll call groups A, B, C and D. D was for dangerous. Even though the other women they had committed crimes such as murder and armed robbery, I alone was put in the dangerous group. I had committed the dangerous crime of tweeting against police brutality. So guys, that's the latest here. And so Obet Gutu uh he is a spokesperson for National Peace and Reconciliation Commission NPRC. He is simply saying that um Sato waenda kuna utawara ma domestic issues kuna wangu wa anu wa wasinga ziwe Why can't you go kuna na tete na na sekuru unu utawara nyaya zako Mkwansa kukazili sana Andi tika is in the family Notu kufa wangu waenda pache kerele 
like that are going to Amazon on YouTube or social media, go to our Jinji. Ah, uh, they're also viewing their family matters on social media. And they go, "Ano jamba, try to order a gunzi. Ano da unana tete o mukazi sana kazi sana." What I say, what I say. This is what the man is saying here that uh, what my did. Jini ma consequences ya kuti, jini kwa nisa kuti, pa kwa nisa kuti ma demonstrations, pa kwa nisa kuti ti mirijonga mu Zimbabwe because of what she said in Geneva. But again, uh, is she lying about what she said in Geneva? That's the bottom line of it. I mean, ainye pa ire kuti ndo juru kitika mu Zimbabwe, do pa nanyaya shakari papo. And uh, so, this is a weekly news roundup on Prince Melody Tsimi TV. Got it all in the comment section. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. We'll be keeping you guys up to date here with the latest. Remember to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. One thing that I know about this institution, uh, NPRC, uh, for the last four years or five years, they failed uh, to even talk about Nyaya Kukura Wundi. I don't know the process with Kufamba say they are supposed to tell us which is I mean, they are given a task to bring groups together so that we could move forward but uh, it's one of those main tasks that um, I think they failed whatever they are doing they're observing it from a distance I could see could they could have done a lot but anyway it's a topic for another day got it all in the comment section guys this is weekly news roundup on Prince Men Entertainment TV as much as Pazamere would have gone to this commission or this institution I still don't think it is because remember they were appointed again with the same government here and so what they can do is give my recommendations of which some of the recommendations would uh, rub negatively uh, to the sitting uh, politicians or more office at the moment Saga, as much as he's saying that my would have come to them and uh, explain her grievances I don't think it is Paisombo would have anything out of it. But anyway, Pani Pasna Chakaya Pakumbo Changwam and Una Nati Tombo Ranyaku other than Gungwenda Kunama Strangers are no go singers zero. But anyway, this is a weekly news roundup on Prince Melinda Semi TV. We'll be keeping you guys up to date here with the latest. Remember to like, share, comment and follow. Bless up.